Hi, everybody, it's FIBO Group and you are watching to the Market Watch Review. Equity markets are now higher after a mixed start in Asia where Australia and India are holidaying, but they have since moved up. Europe's stock 600 is currently up 1.9% at midday, which would make it the largest gain of the year. Futures in the US are also showing signs of support, with S&P 500 rising by more than 1% and Nasdaq increasing by 2%. Yesterday's gains are being trimmed by the JP Morgan Emerging Market Currency Index. The rally in gold may have stalled at $1,850, which is a two-month high. March WTI has been steady and has held at above $8.5 per barrel. It is now pushing for $8.6. Today's main focus is on equity performance following volatility in Bank of Canada meetings. Asian Pacific Market the IMF has downgraded the global growth forecast for this year to 4.4% from 4.9% in October. Key factors were the virus, higher inflation, and high levels of debt. Beijing continues to harass Taiwan with warplanes entering its air identification zone. This week, there were nearly 40 aircraft. It is the highest number this year. The dollar had been against the Japanese yen for 11 sessions prior to this week. Today marks the second day of gains for the dollar and it has resurfaced at JPY 114.00. The 114.25-114.50 bands is where we see initial resistance. Near 113.80 is support. The Australian dollar is in the same range as yesterday. 0.7090 to $0.7190 market of Europe. The Italy presidential selection process is ongoing. Tomorrow will be even more exciting. The three initial rounds of voting are about the jockeying behind the scenes, which is far more complex than it seems. At the beginning of the week, the euro was at CHF 1.03, its lowest point in nearly seven years. It has now recovered to 1.04 despite the fact that Eastern Europe tensions have not been eased. It is suspected that the fingerprints of the Swiss National Bank were used. Monday's site deposit report will also be examined for evidence of intervention. For the third consecutive session, the euro has been softer. As if bids are being accepted, the bounces below $1.13 have become less frequent. Yesterday's sterling move reached a new marginal low of 1.3437. It held at 1.3430, the lowest for the month. However, it recovered to 1.3500. It was lifted to 1.3520 by follow-through buying, but it stalled. Market of America The U.S. releases December goods balance figures and inventory numbers. After a 12.4% increase, new home sales might be of interest. The real interest lies in the central bank meetings. First, the Bank of Canada's meeting ends. In light of better risk sentiment, the Canadian dollar is being bid ahead of the outcome at the central bank meeting. Monday's low of CAD 1.2455 has been surpassed by the US dollar. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.